Yes, so we've already discussed Williamson ether synthesis. So what clue should I remember? For Williamson ether synthesis, you have if you have to prepare ether in Williamson uh, synthesis, primary is uh, alkyl halide is more preferred than tertiary. If you're finding primary alkyl halide, try to prepare ether. If you're finding secondary or tertiary alkyl halide, try to prepare alkenes, right? So let us see these examples. Suppose if so this question is given to you like this. So first, as soon as this is given, now what is this alkyl halide? carbon with three hydrogens yeah so this is primary alkyl halide so as soon as you see primary alkyl halide what should you do automatically we said okay tertiary alkoxide correct <clears throat> so what did i say if you find primary alkyl halide just close your eyes and just finish off take out nabr and prepare ether so primary alkyl halide always gives ethers simple then now let us come back now again you're finding your whole concentration should be on the alkyl halides here as soon as you see this alkyl halide which type of alkyl halide is this this is tertiary alkyl halide correct yeah so tertiary alkyl halide automatically with your this is your bulkier group and this is less hindrance uh, steric hindrance group so this is your primary alkoxide so as soon as you see uh, your uh, primary tertiary alkyl halide blindly you have to see or find or write the product of an alkene correct so what did we say first na and br comes out na br right your this is h and h as i've shown the ch3 oh comes out methanol this bond is going to shift here so what do i get ch3 c double bond ch2 and ch3 so this is your plus alkene this has come out with this this h has come out with methanol and this bond has shifted here so you get alkene so where should your concentration be alkyl halide that's it remember williamson ether synthesis means alkyl halide primary ether tertiary alkene let us come back and see this they have reversed this question nothing it's the same so where should my concentration go my concentration should go here don't get confused if this is given where is the alkyl alkyl don't do this is your primary alkyl halide so this is primary alkyl halide so what product should you get ethers pick up NaCl right NaCl so join the whole thing tertiary so 3C O and C2H5 ether this is how we are going to solve your questions so please remember Williamson ether synthesis means alkyl halide primary Williamson ether synthesis secondary and tertiary alkyl halides will give us alkenes Yes, uh, so we've already seen the preparations of ethers with uh, <coughs> your dehydration of alcohols. Then we also did Williamson ether synthesis. I've also given you the variations of Williamson ether synthesis. Now let us do the last preparation of ethers. That is <coughs> preparation of ethers with dry silver oxide. Okay, what is dry silver oxide? Let us see. <coughs> basically dry silver oxide is a mild oxidizing agent right what does it do it's going to add oxygen so it is a mild oxidizing agent whenever you see dry silver oxide remember this concept it is a mild oxidizing agent it will just add oxygen to the given compound here what am i going to do i'm going to take an alkyl halide so this is your alkyl halide so when dry silver oxide is added so it's going to add oxygen to this suppose i have to prepare ether i'll pick up two moles of this so how the what is this reaction just come back to r and r are two r's so r this oxygen is added or this is going to add i should not say that oxygen it's going to add oxygen to that and leftover is what agx correct what how many moles two agx this is your ether so this is how so when it's uh, basically not given you NCRT but remember if AG2O is given to you it's it's just uh, addition of ether or sorry addition of uh, oxygen to your alkyl halide to form the particular ether so we are done with the preparation so I'll, I'll meet you again in the chemical reactions of ethers in my next video